so hey guys welcome back to another video in this video we will be creating this carousel view as you can see this if we like change the image the background image also change and this is a carousel view with some pinch of animation so we'll be creating this thing in our today's video so let's get started so for the startup project i have a list of images which are network images from the website called unsplash.com you can find this link down in the description so without any further ado let's get started let's build the app so as you can see this images uh, this carousel view has two images like one is in the background and one is in the front and to uh, get this effect we'll be using a widget which is named as stack uh, what stack does is it stack the widget uh, one onto each other we'll get our emulate uh, simulator running and we'll close this app for now let me take a screenshot uh, let's do this yeah cool let's get started let's start uh, building the app so this stack property uh, this stack widget has a children property and this children takes a list of widget so our first widget will be a container widget and this container will uh, have some decoration as you can see this uh, border radius and all so we'll define the decoration and the decoration will be box decoration and this box decoration has a property called image and this takes a decoration image and yeah we'll define the image that will be a network image and we'll use the images list and we'll use the first index for now and now if we hit save you can see this image right but we can't change it yeah because to change the image we'll use something as a page view builder uh, that will be like more easier so we'll use page view dot builder and this page view builder uh, has a property called item builder and this takes context and an index so we'll provide index yeah and this returns our widget so we'll type return and we'll return this container here and we'll remove this thing cool now we can swipe through images right uh, now to get some like this uh, this has some padding uh, and height factor as well so what we'll do is we'll wrap the container uh, we'll wrap our page view builder with a widget called fractionally size box and we'll give a height factor of around half the screen which will be 0.55 and now you can see this is in the top so we'll define the alignment property of the stack as alignment dot center and this will bring it to the center right now this container also has some like you can see this um, some width right right so what we'll do is we'll return uh, we'll wrap our container with a fractionally size box and we'll give no translation fractionally size box and we'll give a width factor of around 0.8 so you can see like yeah um, now we'll give some decoration to this image and for that we'll uh, this decoration box decoration has a property called border radius and we'll define our border radius the circular and we'll provide around 32 and if I hit save, um, I get the effect, I guess. Now the thing is, we are using this here static, like the first index only. Uh, to get rid of, we'll use the index which is provided by this page we build up. And now if I hit save, you can see this thing, right? Uh, the main thing is, ki th this image is, is a bit small, right? This image is a bit small so to make it like cover the available space we'll provide the decoration image a fit property and that will be box fit dot cover now if i hit save you can see all images are of same ratio this image take times to load so we'll wait for it yeah we got this images uh, one more thing we have an error because we do not define the boundary so for that we'll come here down to the page view builder and we'll define the item count yeah and that will be images list dot length and now if i hit save we can like we don't uh, get the error yeah cool now the thing is uh, we need the background image right this background image 
so for that we'll come to the children right here and we'll define a container and this container takes a decoration same as we did before and this will be a box decoration and this has an image property this takes a decoration image and the images will be a network image and we'll use the image list and for now we'll provide the first index now you can see this uh, static image right but it does not takes the whole space so for that what we can do is we can provide decoration image of fit property and that will be box fit dot cover yeah cool so it takes the whole um, available space now we want to uh, like apply the blur effect so for that uh, what we can do is we can define the container a child and that will be a backdrop filter yeah and this backdrop filter takes a filter and this will be image filter uh, dot blur and this image filter dot blur takes sigma x and sigma y like how much it needs to blur so sigma x will be around 15 and sigma y will be around 15 and it's not working cause this backdrop filter uh, takes a child as an overlay so for that we'll need to define a child and that will be a simple container with a color um, with a color as colors dot black with opacity around 0.2 i guess and if we hit save you can see like the blur effect uh, now if, if we remove this child right the effect will be gone because this uh, this backdrop filter uh, use this child as an overlay so uh, uncomment this and we'll get the effect right now we need to change the image as the image changes right so for that we need to create a state variable for that and that will be an int current uh, current index and we'll initialize it to zero initially and now what we can do is to get the current index will uh, come down to this page view builder and this page view builder has a property called on page change which takes a value and for now we'll set this value to our current index and to rebuild we'll use the set state and in the set state we'll use the will initialize current index to whatever the page changes right and uh, rather using the first image here we'll use the current index current index cool and yeah now if i change the image the image the background image also change but uh, as you saw in the previous there was like some animation like right? this image does not change like directly so for that um, what we can do is we'll wrap our container with a awesome widget which is known as animated switcher and this animated switcher takes a property called duration and this duration will be of const duration and it will be of like 600 milliseconds right so we can like get the effect now if we change the image still there is no effect right so um, what uh, what happened is the flutter <coughs> consider this container as a same widget uh, even if we are changing the image if we, even if we are changing the widget the flutter takes this container as a same widget so it does not rebuild the container so to rebuild the container we'll define the key property and we'll like to differentiate uh, each and every image we'll define the key property of the container and this uh, key takes a value key of type integer and we'll provide our current index right because the current index is different for different images and now if I hit save and now if I change the image you can see this smooth switch animation in the background so yeah that was it that was it for this video if you find this video helpful or video interesting please leave a like subscribe to the channel for future updates and I'll see you in the next one